Hey guys, thanks for joining me today for my latest YouTube video. Um, I just want to talk about the show American Dreams for a minute. Um, that's what my YouTube video is going to be about today, um, the show American Dreams. And as you know, my brand is built upon um, the belief that storytelling can teach us the secret of life. Um, it can teach us how to cope with problems that we have, how to deal with the things and the stresses that come up into our lives. And um, having lived through a pandemic for the last year and a half, um, it really keeps reminding me of this episode of American Dreams. American Dreams was an NBC show that came on back in like the early 2000s. Um, and it only stayed on for about three seasons. Um, and there was a very powerful episode for me um, when they discussed their youngest child, Will. Um, the youngest kid in the family um, suffered from a limp and he was kind of um, like a little bit disabled. Um, and the reason, um, as you discover in this particular episode, is because his parents um, were very apprehensive about the polio vaccine when it came out. So they never took him to get the vaccination and he ended up contracting polio. And then he ended up having to live from the damage that the disease had done to his leg. Um, and he always walked with a limp. So the reason why I bring that up is because I feel like when we are writing screenplays, books, novels, um, fiction, any type of story that we make up, we can make a huge difference in the world. For me personally, that episode drove home the importance of vaccinations for me. Um, my parents had diseases when they were younger, like the measles and the mumps that I didn't have because of vaccinations. And I had diseases like chickenpox that my niece and nephew will hopefully never have because of vaccinations. Um, right now with COVID-19, um, the best way to, to combat that is with getting vaccinated. So this is not only just, you know, kind of like a PSA, so to speak, about getting your kids vaccinated, but like even getting yourself vaccinated. Um, if there is a deadly disease that exists, why not get the shot that prevents you from getting that deadly disease? Nine times out of 10, the side effects that you'll get are not gonna be as bad as getting the deadly disease. It's just as simple as that. So this is not gonna be a very long video. Um, I wish that I could tell you that you could go and stream American Dreams on Netflix or Amazon Prime or something like that. But unfortunately, American Dreams does not exist anywhere for you to be able to stream it. Um, I happen to own the first season of the show because I bought the um, first season when it came in a DVD box set back many years ago. Um, but I, I wanna just say something about that too for those of you who are watching this video who are producers. So the reason why you can't really find American Dreams anywhere is because it was an insanely expensive show to produce. Um, because the show kind of centered around American Bandstand, um, they had to use um, a lot of music from back in the 60s. And because of that, um, music is not free when you use it on a show. You have to pay for the rights to use that music. Um, and whoever created the show and produced the show, they did not account for the possibility of being able to um, show it in other plat on other platforms. Um, back then, that would have been only DVD, but they did not prepare for that. So that's why you only have like that first season on DVD, um, because they did not prepare to have the rights for those different outlets to, to sh distribute the show. Um, so that's kind of like a, a lesson in producing one-on-one. Um, make sure that you are able to secure the rights for any music that you use, especially if the show is heavily centered around music, that's gonna be a heavy um, part of the price tag of producing the show. And um, they did not prepare for that. So that's why you can only find season one on DVD. Um, otherwise, I would definitely own the whole series. Um, American Dreams um, was an entertaining show, but it also talked, talked about a lot of important topics that were still important even in the 90s and early 2000s um, because the 60s was a generation that kind of changed America and it kind of changed the world, obviously. Um, but I just wanted to say that, that when you're writing, um, think about creating characters that have um, illnesses because so many times you'll watch TV and um, sorry guys, if you hear a lot of rustling around, it's my cat running around and playing. 
Um, but a, a lot of times you don't have characters that go through illnesses and in real life, people go through illnesses all the time. And as I always say, you know, storytelling, filmmaking, making movies, television shows is all about teaching people how to have happy lives. It's all about presenting characters in a way that they overcome their challenges, they overcome their obstacles and they're able to face life head on and to be able to get some happiness out of life. If you are not creating content that helps people make their lives better, then just entertain them, which is what most people simply do is they just entertain. They don't like strive to help people have a better life. Um, but I think that movies could do so much more than entertain. Okay, so I wish that I could tell you to go check out season one of American Dreams. Uh, it's really no way that you can find it, but hopefully if it ever does become available, you'll remember this video right here and um, you'll check out the show if it ever becomes available on any streaming platform or if they ever re-release it on something that you could watch it on like a DVD player, if anything like that ever exists in, again in the future. Um, so uh, this is gonna be a really quick video today. I just wanted to pop in and say that. Um, if you like this video, please like it, um, share it out with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Um, and you guys have like a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week. Um, and thank you for joining me. And again, I am Joy Sherelle Brown. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't even know if I like, introduced myself in the beginning of the video. Um, but thanks for joining me today. And um, go get vaccinated. We need to get back to normal as much as possible and as fast as possible. Thanks. Have a great day.